I'm Paul Perkins with the check of your ag weather. Highs through Thursday stay seasonal and mostly in the mid-60s to the low 70s. West and central areas may see some light rain with some weak disturbances late tonight through tomorrow night. As low pressure from the four corners moves across the plains, unsettled weather is likely Thursday through the weekend with multiple rounds of rain and thunderstorms. Rain totals are likely to be a half inch or more. Increased moisture on Thursday could result in drizzle or some light rain. Thunderstorms develop late Thursday afternoon and evening over western Kansas and move to the northeast. Severe weather threats Thursday are mostly wind and hail. The biggest area of concern is from south of I-80 in central Nebraska to central Kansas. More thunderstorms develop Friday afternoon with the greatest severe threat along and east of Highway 81. Dry weather is expected from late Friday night through the day Saturday before more widespread thunderstorms on Saturday night. Highs warm mostly into the 70s Friday before dropping into the 60s over the weekend and warming back into the 70s for early next week. Checking the long-term forecast, Nebraska and Kansas temperatures Sunday through the first six days of May very likely to be warmer than normal. Above normal rainfall is predicted for Nebraska and Kansas Sunday through May 6th, especially the early half of next week. Soil temperatures 4 inches down at 7 this morning for much of central and western Nebraska and the northwest corner of Kansas in the mid to upper 40s along and southeast of a line from Columbus to Grand Island and McCook along with much of Kansas. Soil temperatures in the low 50s. Mid 50s for soil temperatures were over south central Kansas. Key weather factors the markets are watching include more active weather in the central U.S., a mix of weather in Europe and the Black Sea region, conditions turning drier in Brazil, and heavy rain across Argentina. Quiet weather across much of the U.S. gradually ends the second half of this week as a pair of storms emerge from the western U.S. Over a four- to five-day stretch, both storms cross the central plains before reaching the Great Lakes. Five-day precipitation totals should reach one to three inches or more across large sections of the plains, Midwest and Mid-South, with locally severe thunderstorms accompanying the rain. Significant rain bypasses a few areas, though, including key winter wheat areas of the central and southern plains. Areas near the Gulf Coast and the southern Atlantic coast should also receive little or no rain. Although the eastern U.S. freeze threat largely subsides, chilly conditions linger for several days from the Midwest into the Northeast. As central Brazil turns drier, damage to second crop corn is expected. The rest of pollination and grain fill towards Argentina, areas of heavy rain are expected to make harvest difficult and increase the quality issues for a good crop. Northwest Europe, like France and the U.K., are still too wet. Spain, in need of rain, expects better rainfall this weekend and next week. Cooler weather in northern Europe is leading to some frost and planting delays. For the eastern Black Sea region, Hotter and drier weather in the next week or two continues to be unfavorable for wheat that is developing quickly and crop conditions for winter grains are dropping. The track of rain is favoring corn areas of western and central Ukraine. I'm Paul Perkins. That's a check of your ag weather.